Well, guys, we're just going through one of them patches at the moment, hopefully, where everything seems to be going wrong. But we've got two games today where we could get things back on track. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019 and part 6 of The Journeyman in Season 3 with South Shields. So I completely butchered this intro, I'm Joe if you're new around here, and get used to that, I'll probably do it a lot. Coming up on today's episode, we've got an away game against Bishop Stortford and then a home game against Boston, both in the league. Um, and both winnable games, you would have to say. Since you were last with us, things have not been going too much better. We beat Geisley 1-0 just. We squeaked over the line in that one. We then somehow drew this match against Chorley. We were terrible in this match. But we dug in and we got, th got a draw out of it. And I thought, right, we're going to turn it around now. We then lost our next game 2-1 to Southport and got absolutely hammered in the cup. It was a really, really poor performance um, against Halifax Town. But we come into today's match, um, I don't know, rejuvenated. We've had a little bit of a break. We've got a new sign-in as well. We're going to bring in um, Brendan Pearson in goal once again. I think he's uh, he's had enough uh, alone time. Um, uh, we've brought in this guy, Kanye Lechabela. Le yeah, no idea. Kanye West, of course. Um, <laughs> I think that has to be his nickname, um, Kanye West, um, oh, I think that's how you spell it, there you go, Kanye West, um, so he's come in from Fleetwood, never played a professional game in his life, we just got to hope that he does something, um, on that right hand side, uh, you know, Jackson's having an okay run, uh, Waterson, apart from that first game, has done nothing, so, you know, I thought we'd bring him in. We've also uh, brought in Andy Thanodge on a, on a free transfer. Um, fans of Dr. Benji will, will know him because, uh, yeah, uh, he was at uh, Salford in the Salford story, played in the Premier League in that save. I think he was brilliant. Um, you know, he might not be in this save, but we've brought him in um, as a bit of midfield cover. Um, I've t I totally not went through the team with you, but uh, who cares? Uh, we'll go through it now. We've got Pearson, Pearson in goal with Thornley, Cunningham, Morse and Simpson. Then got Chapman, Wright and York in the midfield with Kanye West and uh, Foley. Starting wide of Jordan Burrow up top. So, let's get into it. Let's do this, boys. Um, I'm just a, a little bit downbeat about how things are going. I know we're still in the playoffs. Um, but we're down to sixth in the league, I think, which is is terrible considering, you know, how how well we were doing four or five ga games ago, looking like we could genuinely be title contenders, and we still are. We're only nine points off the top. It is really really tight at the moment, um, but we have lost our way just a little bit. We're still six points clear in the playoffs, but uh, definitely a performance needed today because if we get beat today. It's uh, it's going to be tough to to expect anything other than a defeat against Boston. You know, Boston are a lot better a team than Bishop Stortford. So we really need to put a statement in there today uh, of us being good. And that was a great ball forward by Kanye West. And now he has Burrow, Burrow into the middle. Daniel Wright gets his 14th goal of the season after 20 minutes. We're one nil up. And that is the kind of statement I want them to be making. Kanye West, wonderful ball forward towards Burrow, who, I don't know, did his best to mess it up. Held it up nicely. Good pass to uh, Daniel Wright. And you can just rely on him in those situations to go in and get the goal. Kanye West is injured. A potential groin injury. Um, I guess we have to take him off. So you didn't get much of a look at him. <clears throat> but... Uh, what you did, he played a beautiful pass forward, so, you know, he's going to be the sign of the season. You just know it. Um, but as it stands, we move back up to third position. Barrow uh, had their game postponed um, over the weekend, so um, 
presumably they're going to win their game and 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 go back above us. But um, yeah, you know, at, at least we're going in at one one nil up. Um, it was a nice goal, and hopefully we can do something similar in this second half. You know, um, Bishop Stortford haven't really. Uh, challenged us yet and you wouldn't expect them to if we want to be promoted this season these are the games that w- are our bread and butter we need to 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 really be winning these games every single time um i might look a bit red by the way that's because me uh, ps4 is on so let's turn that off and uh and now you're, you're back to normal joe i'm not uh completely sunburned but <laughs> um yeah, I mean we're not doing much else here. We Foley hasn't had the the best of games, which is unlike Foley. He's uh, been one of the players of the season. We signed him up to another year uh, at the club, along with quite a few others, mainly just to get their wages down. Really, he has Wall Burrow. It's in. It's in. That's a wonderful little header there. He's not looking too happy about it, but uh, he scored. Fifth goal of the season for him, and uh, and nice for him uh, to sort of break a, a little mini drought he's had. Nice ball forward by Adam Chapman and Jackson with the cross into the middle. Luke Wall and then Burrow with the head into the top corner. We're two nil up. That should be it done and dusted now. Um, uh, emphasis on should. It's not necessarily going to happen though. Um, but seventy two minutes gone. Uh, how's Brad Jackson only on a 6.4? He put in a beautiful cross there. Bless his cotton socks. Right, let's get uh, Sir Tom Elliott into the midfield and uh, and just get a few fresh legs on the pitch. But this it is more like it. It's more like it. We haven't been our free-flowing selves, but we've got the job done, and, and that's nice to see. And uh, certainly a few greens in there for the first time in a little while. Uh, we haven't got the FA Trophy to worry about anymore. We're just... Uh, oh, no. We're going to concede from their first chance, aren't we? Here's Healy. Gets a forward to Brown. A clean sheet would have been amazing. But you just knew. And Spazov has scored. And, and they could still get back into this. That's how ridiculous it is. They've been anonymous for 88 minutes. They've popped up now. Um, and, and we couldn't deal with it. As usual. And now we've got five minutes of added time to hang on here. Absolutely terrible. Six seconds to hold on. Come on. Brown. Here's Healy. Crosses it wide to Papo. Papo. Oh my god. I thought that was going to be a penalty. But it wasn't. We managed to get over the line. And now... Finally, we've got a victory in uh, the form column, and we can go into our home game against Boston with a little bit of confidence. Okay, just the one change for this match. Then we've brought in Brad Jackson for the injured Kanye West because uh, you know he's got a problem with his groin. Apparently, I don't know what he's been up to, but uh, Brad Jackson comes in. Obviously, provided that beautiful cross in uh, the last game for. Uh, uh, Luke Wall who headed it on to Jordan Burrow so hopefully more of the same in this match um, you know it's a, it's a, it's a good side this uh, this Boston one um, certainly good for this level and uh, you know they're experienced at this level we're, we're not really you know we're only a year and a half into our journey in the National League uh, system so yeah, it, it, it's going to be a tough game today, but if we can win this one, then I think we're officially back on track, which is exactly what we want. But we're not going to take anything for granted today, that is for sure. So let's let's fire them up a little bit. Um, but interestingly, if we do win today, we could go within seven points of uh, leaders Wrexham. We're playing them in the not too distant future, so you know things are, are starting to come back. But I don't want to get my hopes up. Here's York. Header over the bar. Unlucky there. <clears throat> Good to see the amount of Boston fans that have come up uh, the long journey up the, the, the M1 and A1. Uh, and then the A194 to get here. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, not much has happened here. We had that uh, free header for 
Reese York, who hasn't had as strong a season this year. Last year he was um, he was brilliant, uh, you know, a year younger as well. Um, he's only about 20. Oh, my goodness me. First goal of the season. What a fantastic strike. I mean, I, I've just got no response to that. That's ridiculous. What what a ball forward it was. One touch and then bang. I don't even think Neuer would have saved that. <sighs> boy, oh boy. It's oh Cunningham's off as well. It's another stupid match where nothing's going to go our way. Dominated the match. Have a, a, a fairly lucky goal uh, go in against us, and now we're just we're just in so much trouble. Um, right, I could play him as a. Never thought of playing him as a deep line playmaker before, but we'll uh, we'll try it in this match. But. Um, that is frustrating. Here's Dylan Morse. Now Simpson. If we can get back on, on uh, level terms just before half-time, I'll feel like we can still win this game. Here's Burrow into the middle and it's away. Now here's Daniel Wright. Morse. Don't like how our centre-back is so far forward. Right to York. Right again. Ooh, Thornley. Jackson. Jackson on this right-hand side. This could be a chance. It's a penalty. That was an absolutely terrible uh, challenge. That's got to be a red for me. He was nowhere near the ball. Yeah, he's gone. So we're back to 10v10 now. Um, <laughs> and it's going to be David Foley. Mr. Experience, Mr. Southfield steps up and scores. Brilliant. one all just before half-time. Eighth goal of the season for David Foley, who really has no right at playing at this level. Um, you know, according to his scout reports, according to his attributes, but he puts in the performances week in, week out, and uh, has been absolutely brilliant this season. Generally, obviously, last game he didn't do too well, but every player has a bad day. But it's 10v10 now, um, and I'd say that we have got a reasonable chance of still winning this. <coughs> You know, we just can't see. Really, um, George Willis. I can't believe he's still at Boston. Um, you know, with with the the turnover at, at non-league clubs for him to have played four seasons at the same club is is mightily impressive. Here's David Foley. Gets it into the middle. Here's Golden. Heads it. Oh. That was close. That was just a little bit too weighty, the cross in. But uh, still creating chances. Thornley. I, I hate how there was nobody behind. That's got to be a red card. That has got to be. And it is. <laughs> Second yellow card. He's gone as well. So they're down to nine men. This has turned into a bit of a, a bad tempered affair. Um... I think maybe we put David Foley on the right-hand side, which is where he prefers to play, by the way. He's never really got the chance uh, to play there under us because we've never really had a, a top, top left winger. But um, well, I think we've got to go attacking now and uh, and, and try and, and get this because this, this is a huge opportunity for three points. We're playing against nine men here. We should be able to do this. Foley on the ball. Crosses it in brilliantly. But good header away. Now here's Simpson. He boots it forward. Foley's going to keep it in. Oh, he goes for it himself. And what a goal that is from David Foley. His ninth goal of the season. That was fantastic. I, I, I honestly don't know how he did that. Goal of the season, perhaps. Right there. Simpson with the ball. First time volley into the back of the net from that angle is incredible what a goal for mr south shields david foley there boy oh boy what a what a goal that was um we'll bring uh carl finnegan on as well another uh, south shields legend and uh we'll see if he can uh, add to his tally 
we'll go defensive for this last um, last few minutes. We'll demand a bit more from them just to just to keep them focused for this last five minutes of the game. Oh, what a goal that was from David Foley, though. Possibly one of the goals of the series so far. And um, he's also responsible for a worldie in real life football. It went viral from Shields a, f a few a few uh, a, a, about a week ago, I guess. Uh, Soccer AM even got involved in it. But that's two victories on the trot now after seven consecutive defeats on camera. We have beaten the curse, everyone. Which is brilliant. So that's that. Um, and, well, Frexham. Beat Nuneaton 5 0. I think Nuneaton could be going down this season, you know. And Geisley as well. We just squeaked past them. But uh, we've beaten Boston, which is good. And uh, we've got some tough games coming up. But uh, I think in the next episode, we may well have that Wrexham game. We might play FC United as well because uh, they're hovering around the playoffs. So those are going to be two very tough matches. Uh, as we start another week of Football Manager. If you have enjoyed that, hold on. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.